I suggest to you, to everyone out there who isn't already using a balancing scale, to pick a priority and then lining up your actions with that priority. If you're not already doing that, think about it. Whenever there's an opportunity to get something that you want, and it doesn't even have to be health, it could be anything, you got to weigh the cost. And the cost doesn't have to be in dollars either. The cost could be just an effort. It could be in a delayed gratification of some kind. Always weigh the benefits to the cost and see which one outweighs the other. And then align your daily actions with your priority. Most people don't do that. Most people scroll straight to the bottom of the page, bypassing all the benefits to see what the cost is. And then when you look at the cost, you have nothing to weigh it against. So obviously the cost is probably going to win out and that'll be your reason to stay broke, to stay unhealthy, to stay unfulfilled, to stay unhappy, to stay whatever it is that you're not very happy with. And a big, you know, the reason why I choose this particular example of health benefits versus cost in dollars, because that's a popular one right now. Most people do not eat healthy because usually it costs a little bit more money to eat healthy. And that's a sad, sad, sad balancing scale that people factor in or don't factor in when they make those decisions as to what they're going to spend their money on. About 30 or 40 years ago, approximately, we spent about 18% of our incomes on the food that we ate. And we only spent about 7 or 8% on health care. Nowadays, that figure is reversed. We spend about 18% or more on health care, and we only spend about 6 or 7% on the food that we eat. 